reporting live from an extra innings game here at the Rogers Center. It's live from last week, episode 88. Let's go! Welcome you, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So after being just 24 hours removed from being in this same exact place, here at the beautiful Woodbine Beach, where one of my family friends, Karen, actually asked me to sub in for them for the beach volleyball team. And unfortunately, last night, the event was canceled on the account of there being thunder and lightning in the background. And did I mention, as you guys can tell by this video, there was a torrential downpour here in the city of Toronto. Either way, after I left the beach, I tried to find myself some tickets for the Monday Night Raw WWE event that was actually in Toronto at the Scotiabank Arena. But unfortunately, the event was actually sold out. So what I ended up doing, I just went to the store bought myself some nice and healthy kale salad for the night and enjoyed my TV side seating, eating my salad and watching WWE Canadian legends Trish Stratus as well as the rated R superstar Edge putting on a performance in Toronto making me wish that I had bought my WWE tickets earlier. And after not being able to sleep last night, going back to this scene from last week's Live From Last Week episode, I broke out the steak and eggs and had my earliest breakfast that I've ever had in my life at 1 a.m. this morning. And after finally passing out at 5 a.m. and having a great sleep all day today, I looked at my laundry that was piled ever since last week, finally caught up on my laundry and messaging on a last minute Facebook post. I'm finding myself back here at Woodbine Beach to play some beach volleyball to make up for last night's events. So after a nice beach volleyball session, where I definitely could say that I'm out of shape, I'm headed back home to shower up and rest. But before we call it a night, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of our family friends, who I'm remembering visiting back in the day when they were in the Brampton area. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Nicole. Happy birthday, Nicole. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So earlier this morning when I couldn't go to sleep, I was editing live from last week video while having one of my patented peanut butter sandwiches as a midnight snack. And as for today, staying in all day trying to finish up that live from last week episode 87 video, for the first time in a long while, I'm back here at the famous Queen Street West with this date marked on my calendar for quite a long time, supporting one of my friends for their concert at the famous Horseshoe Tavern. venue tonight, I have a quick birthday greeting to a friend that I made in Cuba back in Veradero when we were on an all-inclusive trip at Breezes del Caribe. This birthday shout out goes out to you Mia! Happy birthday Mia! 
Hope you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So, after a great night out with my co-workers last night, Now this cheers is to Candy's boyfriend, Ben Ransack Parade! Cheers! As well as an amazing concert from my buddy Justin and his band, Ransack Parade, where at the legendary Horseshoe Tavern, I was able to interview Justin post-concert for the channel. Yo, this is Justin, the lead singer of the band. Yeah, man, so check it out. You guys got a Spotify, right? Yes, we got Spotify. All right, check out Ransack Parade on Spotify. Thanks again for the great show, bro. I just want to thank him and my coworkers for bringing me out last night. And I'm really looking forward to attending the next time Ransack Parade runs a concert in Toronto. But anyways, on to my what a mistake moment last night. At midnight before I came home, I decided to make an order on the McDonald's app. Thinking that I clicked the takeout option for my nearby McDonald's closer to my condo. When really, when I checked out, the order was sent to the location closest to my motorcycle and to where I was at Queen and Spadina. So I was thinking, how the heck am I going to carry this takeout order all the way to Scarborough? But you know what guys, I found a way, got a takeout bag with a couple of handles on it, and decided I was set to make my Uber McDonald's delivery all the way back to my condo in Scarborough. And finally, when I knocked on my door to my condo and got home, we were able to enjoy my takeout Big Mac meal with the food properly packaged and all intact to have for a midnight snack. But anyways, after being able to sleep in and have yet another record sleep last night, today I'm going in for my first of my two night shifts. But before we go into work tonight, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my titas who always supports me on her messages on Facebook whenever I have my races. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Mommy Paul. Happy birthday, Mommy Paul. And secondly, we have a birthday greeting to yet another family friend who, when I was in Jamaica, would always compete with me whenever we played table tennis. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Manang Reggie. Happy birthday, Manang Reggie. I'm hoping that all my family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So today, I've decided that in between my night shifts, we're just gonna pay a quick visit to my Lala. Hey Lala, it's Jay. Just wanted to come by and say hi in between my night shifts. Also wanted to let you know that the trees around your area, like this one, this one, and especially this one in the background, are already turning autumn colors in the month of August. But yeah Lala, I just wanted to thank you for guiding us in our travels to Asia this past month, helping us get there safely to see the sights and sounds of Bali, Indonesia, Singapore and as well as San Francisco and once again for guiding us back home safe and sound but yeah Lala we just want to say thank you we're thinking about you we miss you we love you and we'll see you again next month but yeah before I go home this morning take a quick nap and go in for my second of my two night shifts tonight I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my friends with whom I went on a Filipino camping trip with almost a decade ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ashley. Happy birthday, Ashley. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So before we continue with today's segment, I just have a couple of things to vent to you guys about. To be honest, I've had several issues with Instagram and uploading to their platform in the past couple of weeks. But yeah, if you check out my Instagram page, you'll notice that it's full of both Instagram pictures and videos. The thing is, the Instagram picture posts that you see are actually supposed to be videos that I've tried to upload on Instagram. That after 15 to 20 minutes of uploading, a pop-up would come up and say the post could not be shared. So in lieu of the video, I had to resort to uploading a thumbnail of a scene from one of those videos or episodes of Live From Last Week instead. And in yesterday's case, I tried to upload Live From Last Week episode 87 three times. And each time after staying up post night shift, taking up over 20 to 25 minutes of my time in each upload attempt, an Instagram pop-up would say that the video post has been shared. 
But when I refresh the page to see if my video actually uploaded, this is what happened. Yo, what the heck, Instagram? Where's my video? After more than 20 minutes trying to upload it? Where's my video? Anyways, guys, I hope that Instagram does get its act together so that you guys can continue checking out my videos on the IG platform. Otherwise, I'll just have to solely upload my videos on YouTube where I know that my videos will always definitely be seen. Speaking of both YouTube and Instagram, in the middle of June, I forgot to tell you guys that I actually created my own QR code for my YouTube channel. And yesterday, I decided to add to the collection of the QR codes that are on the back of my phone and made a new QR code for my Instagram account as well. So whenever I meet somebody new that's interested in checking out my videos, I just tell them to scan these babies on the back of my phone. Pausing right here, just a quick shout out to both Angela and Gloria for being impressed with my QR code creating skills and for being a couple of the newest Jay Walker POV followers. But on to today, after finishing my second night shift, I was looking online to see if I can grab a couple of Blue Jays tickets to Saturday's game where the Blue Jays were celebrating their 30th anniversary World Series win for the first time in 1992, having this awesome bomber jacket giveaway, as well as pregame honoring a couple of members from that championship team. But unfortunately, on Ticketmaster, all the tickets were sold out. And even on the secondary ticket markets, tickets were going way above my budget at over $100 per seat. Plus, we had our staff ace, Alec Manoa, on the mound to take on the once-in-a-generation type talent, the all-star pitcher slash hitter in a pitching matchup, Shohei Otani. And after just resorting to watching this exciting game at home, Otani just proved to be way too good, and the Jays fell to the Angels 2 to nothing. But one thing's for sure, I'm pretty excited for tomorrow as I'm catching the Blue Jays game on Sunday with a couple of co-workers tomorrow afternoon. Another thing to be excited about, recalling these scenes from last week's Live From Last Week episode, the wife had informed me that our luggage, the doggy, at this exact time this morning, was redirected off her flight and is still in San Francisco. Is that after locating doggy still at Pearson Airport on Sunday, moving a little bit on Wednesday day as well as Wednesday night, then, after checking last night, slowly making its way away from the airport. Today, we got updates with Doggy being near North York. Then, in the afternoon traffic, on the DVP. And finally, after being over seven days lost in transit, and right before the wife left for work this evening, this is what happened. Is the Doggy here? Yeah! Finally, the Doggy has arrived! Welcome home, Doggy! Pet it, pet it, pet it. Ew, it is so dirty. Yeah. Welcome home. So yeah, doggy, welcome back. We're glad you're home. And now the wife will be happy that she has finally gotten all her stuff back from her Asia trip. So just before staying up until 4 a.m. this morning, editing this week's Live From Last Week episode 88 footage, at around 1 a.m., guess who looked outside the window? and saw some people setting off some fireworks in the month of August. But after waking up after a five hour nap, I got some stuff ready and went directly to the Scarborough Go Station to go downtown to meet up some of my coworkers to go for a nice picnic and Jay's game.
But yeah, big shout outs to a couple of my coworkers for coming out with me to picnic and to catch a Jays game earlier today. Okay! But yeah, one thing about the Jays game, recalling this scene from a previous Live From Last Week episode when I thought I saw my Tito Rene. Where's my beer? On my way there, I saw somebody that might have just looked a little bit suspicious. Oh my gosh, Louis, Louis, is that you? But yeah, anyways, after the Blue Jays game, I took my motorcycle back home, said goodbye to the wife for the night before she went in for her night shift and headed here to St. Maria Goretti Church to catch a late 7 p.m. Sunday Mass. Anyways, before I go home and wrap it up for things for the night, I just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. With our first birthday shout out, going out to one of my classmates back in Mother Teresa. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Patricia. Happy birthday, Patricia. And secondly, we got a birthday greeting to somebody who has inspired me when I was younger, as well as the person who hired me back when I was working at the summer camp at BVG. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Rico. Happy birthday, Rico. I'm hoping that my friends at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you guys had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So check this out. This morning, while I was browsing on Facebook, I think that Facebook is trying to tell me something. That I've been spending a little too much time on the app. So after finally putting my phone down and driving the wife to an appointment that she had this afternoon, I was driving on the 401, taking this rare left-hand exit that I've always wanted to take, and somehow ended up at the Yorkdale Mall where I saw that this high-class mall over there was a little bit more rundown than I last remembered. Man, I don't remember Yorkdale looking like this since the last time I was here a couple months back. I mean, just look at this place. I'm just kidding. The place still looks as beautiful as usual. But yeah, I was able to go there and visit one of my cousins that works at a store in Yorkdale, greet her and take a picture with her this afternoon. And after I said hi to Warma, I went up to the food court and decided to do a quick Uber delivery by picking up some grub at one of our favorite fast food locations, the good old Chick-fil-A. And after celebrating in the parking lot a bit, I went to the local Avondale Park near where the wife had her appointment. And although they don't look just like the swings in Ubud, I took my first swings on the playground there for the first time swinging since I was in Asia. But yeah, anyways, after I picked up the wife and took a look at her nice, beautiful set of nails that she got done. Hello. Hello. Let's see your new nails. Ooh. Wow. And these glasses. <laughs> Gentle monster. Ooh. <laughs> I decided to be a gentleman and open the Mini's passenger door and surprise her with what I got for her in the passenger seat. I can only enter through this side of the Mini. Yeah. After you. And so when we finally made it home to taste test this beautiful Chick-fil-A, we checked out a replay of last night's MTV VMA Awards featuring some of our favorite artists like Blackpink, Lizzo, and good old Nicki Minaj. And afterwards, I forgot that I actually have tickets to the Blue Jays game tonight. And well, while checking the GO train schedules on Google Maps and seeing that there was a notification that there was a delay on all their GO train services, I decided to come to the Scarborough GO station a little bit later looked at the schedule board and saw that my train actually wasn't delayed and had already departed. What a mistake. So now I'm here at the GO station waiting for the next train that arrives in half an hour. And then, only then, I'll finally be able to meet up Allison, one of my coworker friends, go back downtown and catch the Jays game against the Cubs tonight. But yeah, before we make our way downtown and catch the approaching GO train, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. With the first shout out going out to one of my friends that has taken me to previous Leaf games as well as Blue Jay games in the past. 
This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jason. Happy birthday, Jason. We also got a birthday greeting to one of my friends that I made through my cousin Jing, who's also a big Green Bay Packers fan. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Yuli. Happy birthday, Yuli. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, now that the GO train has finally arrived, it's time to catch it and go downtown. Woo, now we got the bases loaded. First inning, let's go Jays. So after an amazing extra innings Blue Jays game where they came back from a deficit of four to nothing and where Danny Jansen came up with a game winning hit in the 11th inning, I'm ready to wrap up the night as well as this week's episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from jaywalker pov come out and once again i'd like to thank you guys for watching stay safe and healthy out there and we'll see you next time on live from last week